Justice and freedom for all A dark night has arisen But where does he hail from? To fight to free all liberty Slashing down oppressors to set our people free His name is Zorro off to Monterey before the end of the week. The governor thanks you, Aguilera. All right, who's next? How about a smile, gentlemen? Captain, I paid my taxes last month, and presently, I, I just have one peso left. Who mentioned taxes, Dela Cruz? This money is sort of a supplement to finance the governor's protocol costs in Monterey. Even Sergeant Garcia huh? paid it. Mm -hmm. I have a solution for you. You can sell us your cattle. Uh, uh, wait! No mercy for freedoms. Sergeant, I take him away. As you wish, sir. Mm. Move it! Mm. What Monasterio is doing is a scandal! Yet more money for the lavish parties the governor throws. The more we give him, the more he demands. And you, Don Diego, you've said nothing. What do you think of all this? I'm always very bored by anything involving taxes. <sighs> oh, you are hmm? so wrapped up in yourself. If Zorro were here, he'd defend the oppressed farmers and teach Captain Monasterio a good lesson. He'd stand up and fight. <sighs> My dear sweet Carmen, I didn't study art and philosophy to wind up compromising myself in common sword fights. Please. on horseback, and all those good meals at the inn that I'll be missing. Hmm. Once this money's in Monterey, the governor will see that we've collected so much more in tax money than any other Pueblo in California. And I'll get a big, fat promotion to Colonel. <laughs> and I'll get a less fat promotion to Sergeant. Who knows? Huh? Military life. I haven't even had dinner. Mm. 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 You see there? You hear my poor, starved stomach growling? Ow! Alert! Zoro is attacking us! This is a simple rock slide, Sergeant. Don't just sit here like a bump on a cactus. Huh? No, no, no. That's an order, uh, you idiot. Hmm. Oh, mommy, why? Why, oh, why me? Come on, Sergeant! Uh, uh, <laughs> Hello, Sergeant. It's Zorro, Captain! Zorro! He's here, I told you! Seize that masked man! You shouldn't play with this. It's too dangerous. Sergeant, Captain, Corporal, quite an assembly of great men. <laughs> men, protect the wagon! Protect the gold! <laughs> sir, yes, sir! Not fast enough, gentlemen. <laughs> the governor doesn't need all this money. 
When I think of all those poor people who, because of this, can't feed their families, load those money bags on my horse. Otherwise... <laughs> uh, go pay for this. Garcia! Oh, huh? Gonzalez! Do as he says. Move it! Hurry it up! Fireworks? Are you in the mood for a party? Don't touch that! Those are fireworks for a party at the governor's! Really? I think that was the grand finale. I wish you all a very pleasant evening. Yeah, Tornado! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Remount, men! Catch those horses! I want sorrow! Yes, sir, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> of Spain. There's a veritable fortune in these bags. Thanks, Zorro. You did all the work for us. <laughs> hey, Lorana, this is the perfect time to take off his mask and finally find out who he really is. <laughs> Easy now, horsey. I was a bullfighter in my younger days. No horse is going to scare me. <laughs> Ole! <laughs> Muchas gracias, my adoring fans. <laughs> Quick, let's get out of here! Thank you, Tornado. <laughs> Where are the other two? They left with the gold. Made off like bandits, huh? Let's go get them. Huh? Hey, wait for me! Why did I get the smallest horse in the whole garrison? Those idiots have erased all the tracks. Oh well, I'll find them later on. Just like in the good old days. There are idiots who sow, and those who reap. <laughs> That's for sure, boss. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Better watch out, you two. The first one who sticks his fat hands into our loot gets his ears clipped. <laughs> I can assure you, Don Diego, I saw Zorro steal the money. Saw him with my own eyes, clear as I see you. That meanie. Zorro? Weren't you at least scared, Sergeant? Scared? Me? Never. Why, I drew my sword. I fought like a fiend. And just as I was starting to best him, the, oh, the brigand managed to get away and run off with the oh. booty. Oh, no! What a shame! Sora would never do such a thing. He has always been on our side. Mm. I'd always found him likable in all, but stealing poor people's money. I never thought he'd stoop so low. Silence! When the governor assigns me a mission, I carry it all the way out. Don't expect us to pay out a second time. Huh. 
passing himself off as an Avenger. Zoro <gasps> betrayed you. Hmm. I'll raise the bounty on his head by a thousand pesos. <laughs> yeah! What we need is a manhunt to flush Zoro out of his lair for good. Any volunteers? Me! Yes, sir. He's right! Let's go! Let's go get him! Let's catch him! What's in this for Malapinsa? <gasps> hmm. You're right. There's something fishy about this. Two men attacked Zoro, a duo. Say, where are the two men who usually help Malapinsa? The dentist and Lorana, where are they? <laughs> Don Diego, would you do us the honor of joining us? We haven't got enough men of uh, courage. Gee, I'd love to tag along, but a manhunt at night with Zoro on the loose? <sighs> well, all right, I will. Besides, a little exercise would do me good. Let's head on out, Captain. Suit yourself, Don Diego. If I were you, I wouldn't go. <laughs> I'm afraid I have to, though. Oh. I'll meet you tonight at the Malapensa Hacienda. I want to see what they're up to. <laughs> what a beautiful landscape! The sunset is stunning. Look. Hurry up, Don Diego. You're lagging behind. If I were a painter, I'd love to paint this. Ugh. I have no time to lose with this romantic caballero. Don't wait for me, Don Rodrigo. I'll catch up with you later. Yeah. Thanks, Zoro. <laughs> Don't worry, dentist. There's so much money here, Don Rodrigo won't even notice. That's right. We'll be living it up. <laughs> like the governor. <laughs> hmm. Those two crooks are knee-deep in this. No doubt about it. You're right, Bernardo. Those are the two who attacked me. Huh? That's weird. For a second there, I had the distinct impression we were being watched. Oh, must have been a wild animal. No trace whatsoever of Zoro. This manhunt is a failure. Another failure! My hacienda is half a league from here, right behind the hill. You're all welcome to come. Thank you kindly. Hmm. The men and the horses need to rest up a little. And to eat and drink a little. <laughs> We're not disturbing the two of you. Uh, uh, hello, boss. Uh, wasn't expecting you back so soon. <laughs> Captain Monasterio and his men are my guests. Hmm. Ah. Garcia, hmm. who gave you permission to sit down? Oh, oh, sir, yes, sir. I'll be right back. I'm going down to the cellar to get some refreshments. You two stay here to keep an eye out. Don't let anyone in. <sighs> Here's the last one. <gasps> Come on, Bernardo. Uh, oh, hey! Don Rodrigo, what a nice surprise. What are you doing in my home? I've come to settle a little matter, my dear Don Rodrigo. I couldn't possibly fight an opponent who isn't armed. On guard. <laughs> Don't worry now, boss. We'll handle it. Well, well. It's amazing all the friendly people one can meet down here in this cellar. Hmm. No more noise, you numbskulls. Captain Monasterio is up there. No problem, boss. We heard you. We'll skin this critter in silence. <laughs> Good start. Uh, it's taking them a long time to bring up our drinks. You can say that again, Captain. Huh? What was that noise? <laughs> dear, oh dear. You have a strange way of being silent. I'm going upstairs. You take care of him. And I want absolute quiet down here. <laughs>
Yell if you must, but silently. Excellent. I see you're getting the hang of it. Oops. Oh, that one was my fault. Well now, Don Rodrigo, you look terrible. You look like you just met the devil in person. <laughs> A trifle. Just scurrying rats. <laughs> very, very big rats, I'd say. Will you kindly tell me what's happening here? Uh, I... I haven't the foggiest. Huh? Ah! <laughs> so, 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 so. Zorro! I would very much like to know what this outlaw is doing in your cellar. He... he came here to steal... my wine. Yes, look, there's the proof. Don Whoa. Rodrigo. Uh. If lying is an art, you're a master of mendacity. May I take private lessons with you? No more bantering. I'll slash you to pieces. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> nice moves, Captain. <laughs> of the house. <laughs> Surrender now! <laughs> Stop this now! <laughs> wow! Catch me if you can! <laughs> Panic? I'm just borrowing it. Thanks for the hand. <laughs> I'd love to continue this fascinating conversation with you, but time is of the essence, and I must get busy with the task that awaits me.
Captain! Captain! Zorro gave all the money back! What? Oh, toss them all in prison! Now! Can't. Our jail's too small for everyone. Uh, besides, the soldiers won't hear of it, since Zorro gave them their money back as well. <laughs> Me too, see? <laughs> mm. I'm going to have myself a nice little feast. Garcia! What? Stop! Let me go! This is a nightmare. I have to wake up. Hmm. Ah, Captain, there's a letter for you. It has your name written on it. It's signed with a Z. Zoro thought of you too. See how nice he is. Mm. You see, he's not a meanie after all. Huh? Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's go for Zoro! Zoro! Viva Zoro! of cattle, you said. Quite impressive. Do you really have to know the precise number of cattle that were driving to the cattle market in Monterey, Captain? Well, now, it is my duty to check the accounts you rancheros give. Mm. And to make sure of your loyalty to the governor. My family has nothing to hide, Captain Monasterio. Mm. The cattle are ready, ah. Father. I think we can head on out. You will stay and watch the ranch while I'm away, because it's far too hot for you to come along. Uh, you know me, sis. I can't bear the intense heat. And all this dust is so horrid. Ugh. So I'll stay here and handle everything. Since that's the way it is, I'll be honored to escort you, senorita. I am accustomed to this heat and dust. It would be my pleasure. Thank you, Captain, but... Mm. I'd much rather be escorted by Sergeant Garcia. <laughs> Your daughter is as cheeky as ever. Yes, you might say she has a mind of her own. She's a De La Vega. <laughs> Aye, they're on their way now. And to think of all the nice food they couldn't take. They could starve to death on the way. <laughs> Sergeant? Yeah, you? Think I don't know about your big appetite? Oh, oh, Doña Maria, stop it! What if we wrapped up all your marvelous dishes? Yeah, the captain ordered me to escort the cattle drive. Yet it'd be a shame to let all this good food go to waste. Well, waste not, want not, as they say. I'm going <gasps> to gallop away at full speed on my best horse to catch up with the cattle drive. That way, they'll have a good square meal. <laughs> What do you say, Doña Maria? I'd say, I hope this food makes it to its mm. planned destination. Oh. And not into your gluttonous mouth and bulging mm. belly. Mm. <laughs> Come on! I can keep an eye on you rascals. Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, oh, stop! Ah, 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 ah! It's been a long time since I've seen such a splendid herd. 
I think we're going to like living in California. Wakiza, go warn the others. We'll squeeze them as they come out of the pass. All right, brother. prepared by dear Doña Maria. I've been riding for hours. I got attacked by pesky buzzards who wanted to take everything I had. Oh, I'm terribly thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sergeant, you oh. must feel very refreshed. <laughs> Yuma, chief of the Yaki tribe. What? Yaki? Here in California? <laughs> yes, Bernardo. I'll go get the soldiers at the garrison. I don't see the men. Where are they? The cowboys ran away like scared rabbits. <laughs> they all ran off and left their pretty squaw to take care of the cattle. I am Doña Ines de la Vega, and I am in charge of this cattle drive. Oh, are you really then, senorita? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Oh. I, I am Sergeant Garcia, and uh, I do uh, surrender. A soldier with rank, how very useful. Indeed, I am, sir. We'll let you take anything and everything you want. Sausages, too. But don't hurt us. Please, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, please, Sergeant. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Where are we? We're completely lost. Nobody would ever come rescue us out here. Untie me now, you hear me? You've no idea who you're dealing with, do you? My father is rich and powerful. Rich? How rich? Can't you see? This whole herd belongs to him. If he's her dad, he'd probably pay a lot of money to get her back. I am not a fool. Her father will alert the soldiers. My father wouldn't ever alert the soldiers. He'd be too afraid for my well-being. You there. Do you know where to find the squaw's rich father? Y yes Well, go tell him. I want 1,000 pesos to set her free. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not going anywhere. I'm hungry, and it'll soon be dark out. Oh, uh, please, please, Sergeant. Go inform my father. I'd go tell him myself that I've been kidnapped, but I don't think Yuma here would allow me to. Uh, mm. Ah, right, right, I see. That's an excellent plan, Senorita Ines. Muchas gracias, Sergeant Garcia. We love your sausages. <laughs> hey! <laughs> the sergeant! <laughs> Brothers, a toast to the fine cattle we've stolen. <laughs> Cheers to the huge rent we'll get paid. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, Don Diego, 
Don Diego! Don Diego. What's going on, Garcia? You've interrupted me. I'm moonbathing, can't you see? Oh, uh, uh, I apologize, Don Diego, but, uh, uh moonbathing? You heard me, Sergeant. Excellent for your complexion, you know? Come, give it a try. Uh, really? Well then, what brings you all the oh, way out uh, here? And at such a late uh, hour. Madre de misericordia! This moon's made me forget my mission. I'm here to see Don Alejandro, uh, to demand a ransom. What? No, no, no! It's not what you think, Don Diego! It's not me! It's those Yaki bandits! The Yaki? What are they doing here in this region? They kidnapped Doña Ines and took the whole herd! And believe me, Don Diego, these are very bad men! Mm. Bloodthirsty ogres, you know! I tried to fend them off and resisted as long as I could, but... I'll go get my father. He'll know what to do. Now, please. Go inform Captain Monasterio, Garcia. Yes, sir. Uh, er, I mean, uh, Don Diego. Uh. Hmm. to inform my captain at the garrison house. I have a better idea. Garcia, you will guide us straight to those Yaki. But my cap... My cap... cap. Sorry, oh. Garcia, but I can't understand a word you're saying. M -m 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 ah. Monasterio? We'll tell him later. Let's go. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Eat up. Oh, thank you. I'm starving. Would you untie my hands and pass me a knife and fork? Please, Yuma. I couldn't possibly wander off or go very far. You know, I think I understand your people's struggle. You may have already noticed that I have Chumash blood flowing in my veins. I know how our people native to this land live. My grandmother... Life for the Chumash has always been easier than it has been for us Yaki. The colonists took everything we had. They took our land, our possessions, and they've hounded us. That's why we've come here, to California. I'd like to believe that peace is possible between the rancheros and the soldiers. What peace? Peace is for cowards. What if real courage was taking the risk to live together? I know what I'm talking about. I'm the daughter of a California ranchero and a full-blooded Chumash. So when there's a conflict, which side should I stand up and fight for? We could share the same territory. Be friends. Yuma, chief of the Yaki, you're getting sleepier and sleepier, and now you're asleep. Your eyelids are so heavy, it's time to curl up and allow sleep to take over. But I'm very sleepy. I think I'll have a little snooze. Wake me up when the sun comes up. <laughs> she does, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, senorita, off for a little night stroll? Ah, uh, put me down! You better put me down right now! Yes, I see, Garcia. It's there. Giddy up, Tornado! Let's go! Uh, 
Uh, I'll, I'll let you go first, Zoro. I'll just follow. <laughs> Quick, let's get going. Oh. Zoro! Let me huh? down, you big, bad, mean outlaw! Would you rather stay tied up? Hmm. <laughs> hey. What time is it? You forgot to wake me up. <laughs> Zoro! Did you sleep well? Ready to take on Zoro? What? <gasps> My dagger! <laughs> Come on, fellas. Hurry up. This is where the Yaki sprang their attack, Captain. With 200 head of cattle, they can't have gone very far. Huh? Garcia! <laughs> Are you all right? Hope we aren't disturbing you during your evening <laughs> stroll. Uh, Captain, sir, uh, I was going uh, to the garrison house uh, uh, to report an attack by marauding Indians. I'm not uh, there. I'm here. Turn around! Hmm. <laughs> attack! <laughs> oh, come on, you. What about me? Hmm. Oh. Catch him! Catch him! Four against one? Here I thought the Yaki were courageous. Ready, Tornado? Chief of the Yaki, or should I say the big chief of the thieves? Zoro, eh? You wear strange clothing. You come here to dance? Dance? Oh, yes. I love dancing. And you? <laughs> come on, faster! Come on, faster, my friend! Skip this! No snoozing on the job! Uh, Yuma? Still want to do this all alone? And a last try? Whoa. This way! Come on! Zoro, I should have suspected as much. We'll meet again, Zoro! I'm sure we will. Oh, Doña Ines, I've come to rescue you from the clutches of that horrible Zorro. You're mistaken, Captain. Zorro had nothing to do with this attack. Actually, the Yaki wanted to kidnap me. You what? said it. Zorro didn't do any harm. Oh. <laughs> but he's still a bad, awful bandito. <laughs> oh, Captain, here I do all the work and you still get mad at me. <laughs> Lancers, seize that man! Attack! Attack! Tell me, Captain, do you like Rodeo? Why do you ask, Zoro? 
So sure. Gentlemen, allow me to introduce myself. Don Rodrigo Malapensa, you're on my property. And these two are my faithful helpers, the dentist and La Rana. You are not from around here. What are you, bandits? I am Yuma, chief of the Yaki rebels. We don't want any trouble with you. But if you force us to fight, we will. Now, now. A prudent man must take precautions, that's all. Come on in. I just might have some work for you. No reason to be ashamed of being bandits, you know. <laughs> Over here! Diego de la Vega? I must be dreaming. You aren't hiding under a rock to avoid the blazing sun? Father made me come. I'll go with you, but only as far as San Luis Obispo, uh, to make sure everything goes well. What? Only halfway? Hmm. Yes. Very well, then. I shall go with you all the way to Monterey. And you'll happily lend me Tornado and Zorro's sword. Not on your life. <laughs> Place is on your horse and not under your horse. Hmm. It's getting harder and harder to find good soldiers these days. In any case, our bell is now safe and sound in Monterey. We now have to get it safely to Los Angeles. I'm rather sure this new bell will be very helpful to our community. Ringing for both celebrations and alerts, it'll be heard for miles and miles. All this thanks to your generosity. It's nothing, really. Uh, what good is having riches if they don't benefit others? Oh, this heat is infernal. I should have stayed home at the Hacienda sipping fresh lemonade instead. Uh, these long rides tire me out, even if they are for a good cause. Oh, don't tease me with talk of cool lemonade, Don Diego. My throat's drier than a bone left in the Mojave Desert. Ah, Monterey at last. We'll be able to freshen up there. I know a cantina that mm. serves the best tortillas in all of California. The finest crab legs you have huh? ever eaten anywhere. Let's go, speed up! No lagging, hurry it up! <laughs> Come on, let's go! Captain, it's amazing how a few words can change a man. Mm. <laughs> Pay attention, old woman. Clear them. Uh, Move it. Get out of the way. Uh, Hurry up. 
<sighs> Are you all right, ma'am? <gasps> Thank you, senor. Thank you. <laughs> I'll gladly buy some oranges. <laughs> Catch this, Sergeant. <laughs> Captain? <laughs> oh, this is so ridiculous. A ranchero's place isn't in the dirt and dust like some kind of peasant. <laughs> you said it. What a bad example he sets. Ah, this is one splendid bell. What a magnificent gift you've given our city. Ah, <laughs> my only goal is to serve the people of Los Angeles to the best of my abilities. That's all? Really? <laughs> Obviously, if one day I was elected to Alcalde... You have everything it takes, my friend. And Los Angeles needs a man of your caliber to lead it. I hope the governor appoints you as Alcalde. Hmm. Hmm. I know someone who certainly wouldn't like being under your authority. <gasps> Watch out! <laughs> Got it, Sergeant. Just a wee bit that away. Hmm. Pull that rope hard. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, there. No. Here. Go oh, on. That way. No. Get no that way. Wow. Uh. <laughs> oh, what a relief. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, you see. What can I say, Sergeant? You're an expert. Oh, thank you, Don Diego. Let's take a short break and have a bite to eat. Back to work. We're taking off immediately for Los Angeles. Well, what about my crab legs? Yeah, and my tortillas. That Verdugo really puts on airs. Giving a bell, serving the people, plotting to be Alcalde of Los Angeles. What next? Hmm. As long as I'm captain, he'll never become Alcalde. What if the governor does appoint him as Alcalde? Don Verdugo is the wealthiest ranchero in California. He's an important man. Hmm. If only Don Verdugo were to do something bad, ah. I'd have a reason to throw him in jail. Oh, no. Oh. The poor man would surely be forced to sell his land for next to nothing. To me, for example. <laughs> wow! Fantastic! I did this all by myself. Slowly, slowly, please. Like that. Good. All done, Captain. Mm. Yeah? What's wrong, Bernardo? What about the rope? Huh? Oh! Huh? No! Ah! Oh! I don't want to see this! What? You want me to handle this, Captain? just conquered the hearts of the Angelinos. No. Oh. <laughs> Congratulations, Bernardo. Oh. <laughs> All we need to do is ring the bell in the middle of the night. But that'd wake the whole town up. Well, that's the point. People will run out of their houses. Then we'll burglarize them! I'm doing the explaining. You'll burglarize them, but it will look like the deed was done by Zorro. You are so smart, boss! I'm not <gasps> done yet! Better yet, we'll make it look like Verdugo is his accomplice. That idiot Monasterio will toss him in jail and I'll be rid of him for good! Uh, Zorro? 
Verdugo? The Bell? Monasterio? I didn't get all that, boss. Ow! What a dumbbell! here. Is this some practical joke? Uh, you think the wind did it? The bell might have been poorly hung by that idiotic Sergeant Garcia. I'll bet you it was Zorro. You two, you've just volunteered to guard the church for uh, the rest huh? of the night. Hmm. Uh, what if it really was Zorro? <laughs> Hands up! Huh? What are you doing here, Corporal? I'm making my rounds like you, Sergeant. Hmm. Well, do it in the other direction, you bumbling nincompoop! Nincom... what? Sergeant? Hmm... What's going on? Why is the church bell ringing? Somebody stole my best ham. Ah, those savages don't respect anything. It was Zorro. He signed his deed. This isn't like him. Besides, he's never done anything to hurt the people of this city before. It's the bell that Don Luis brought that sparked his rage. He couldn't have done it without an accomplice. Huh? That's a filthy insinuation. I'm... The situation is certainly worrisome, but let's not make hasty accusations against such upstanding citizens. <laughs> I am sincerely sorry that the church bell was used to cover up these crimes. I shall deploy every means available to me to help this city apprehend and arrest whoever is behind this. Ah. Mm. Boom! Verdugo's with Zorro! <laughs> oh. Down with Verdugo! Boom! Down with Verdugo! 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 Down with I'm sure Don Luis Verdugo is innocent. We have to find out who's plotting. It's time for Zorro to handle this. Hmm, it's time for Zorro to handle this. No, really? He thinks he's the only hero that this family has. I'm able to handle this too. All right, you can come along. Tornado! Ramirez and I will guard the church. You two keep an eye on the garrison house. Sir, yes, sir! Ah, touche! Who needs lancers? I've single-handedly stopped that demon Zorro. 
I'm the finest swordsman in all of Spain and California. Aside from you, Captain, obviously. Stars are like diamonds placed on the dark velvets of the sky. I didn't know you were <laughs> such a poet. In my idle hours, this gentle California night reminds me of our dear Andalusia. Ah, the scented gardens of Cordoba. The arenas of Seville. Ay, mm. Toro. Mm. And the lovely senoritas of Granada. Oh, look, a nightingale. Lovely mm. night, isn't it? Huh? Oh, the nightingale stopped. Cheep, cheep, sing. Uh huh? Let's hide. Halt! I said halt, man! Verdugo, I knew it. I've come to guard the church and apprehend the criminal. The criminal? You're the criminal. I'm arresting you. What? What? Mm. You have no right to... I have every right. I'm the captain at this garrison. I have something here that... Not another move. <sighs> no one threatens me. No, sir. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Uh, Zorro. I knew they were accomplices. No, we're not. I neither need nor want your help. Ah. Hey, I'll settle this myself. Oh, I'm sure you can. But it seems Don Ramirez can't be bothered to listen to what you had to say. <laughs> Maestro, I prefer your poetic side. Sweet nights of Andalusia. The heady scents of the gardens of Cordoba. Look, a nightingale. Hmm. <laughs> you seized me. You're welcome. Well, well. The birdie flew away. Huh? We've apprehended three accomplices! Quick! He's in a sticky wick now. He won't get away this time. Garcia, a letter! Quick! Yes, Captain? <laughs> Ah, nice work, senorita. <gasps> Ole! <laughs> Come now, gentlemen. You can't let a girl in a vaquero put you to shame. Oh, please. <laughs> oh, that was close. <laughs> Voila! <laughs> Way. Huh? No, that way. Uh, this way. No. <laughs> oh. Faster. Faster. Let me do it, you bumbling fools. Yes, uh, yeah, sir. Sir. <sighs> oh. 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 Someone oh. help me. Coming, Captain. No. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> this is so boring. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> Let's finish the job. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> 
And if that's not enough for you, next time we meet, I won't stop at just the trousers. Got it? We'll never come back. <laughs> Promise. <laughs> She's up against Zoro. Faster, Ramirez, or that cad might hurt her. <laughs> you really went overboard this time. Oh, help! Save me from that meanie Zoro! Oh, help! <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Stop them! <laughs> Oh. My watch! The pocket watch that got stolen! They're the burglars! Oh. Catch them! Get him! Get oh, him! There he is! Way. Senorita Ines, you shouldn't have tried to stop those brigands. Leave that to the lancers in His Majesty's army. Ha. I'm almost there, Captain! Oh. Ha. To Captain Monasterio! Let me try, Corporal! Ha. <laughs> Gentlemen, you could get jobs in a circus. Oh, aha. I've got at least one. That scoundrel doesn't even have the sense to run. I never had any such intention. Take this, read it. If you know huh? how, that is. Orders for a mission. That seal is the governor's. The letter guarantees that the army will provide any help I might need. Hmm. That proves nothing. Let's be done. Zoro may have escaped, but we have his accomplice. Oh, he didn't do anything. We saw who the uh -huh. burglars were. We saw who broke into our homes. They're the ones that stole my watch. Right. Mm. Well, hmm. maybe. They might also be Verdugo's mm. accomplices. But they had it coming to them. Citizens of Los Angeles, I thank you for coming out. I will reimburse those whose homes were burglarized. But first, the drinks at the inn are on me. Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> Come now, Captain. Why the long face? The drinks are on the house. Ah, goodbye, gentlemen. <laughs> <Yoo -hoo! laughs> I'll get you one day. Zoro! Come on, Tornado. Let's get out of here. <laughs> goodbye, my friends. <laughs>